Oh, what a time. If you haven't seen episode 7 yet, I gotta recommend you go back and watch it because we are in a pickle. I'm Traumanaut, and this is the Wilfredo walkthrough series for tips and tricks in getting to winter in Project Zomboid, which is sort of the end game right now for a standard playthrough of the game. A uh, hot tip coming in a minute before we move on from the mis uh, to the misfortunes of last episode, but first, if you want to show some support for the channel, please drop a like or a comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. All right, so a bit of a little performance tip for you today. Um, PZ was originally built to target potatoes, right? Those uh, computers that weren't maybe optimized for gaming. Um, I used to play it on a MacBook long, long ago, and after a Zomboid session, I could practically fry an egg on my machine. It was so hot. So here's one thing you can do to reduce the demand of the game on your machine. I've hit Escape to bring up the uh, menu here. I'm going to Options. Now remember, if you're in a multiplayer server, like, like I technically am here, um, Hitting escape does not pause the game. So if there was a zombie here, you can see Wilfredo is breathing, right? Time is moving. So make sure you're in a safe place before you do this or do it from your start menu. Go over to options, go over to display, the first one. And we're gonna look over down into camera here and look at all these zoom boxes. Okay, so zoom. Um, we have a fair bit of zoom available to us. Some people like to play like this. It's good to play zoomed in when you're in combat, see exactly what you're doing. I like to play like this because I like to see what's coming down the pipe. I like to be well aware of my surroundings. Oh, like, look at that. I didn't even know I could see that. All right. So here's the thing, though. When I am not zoomed out and looking over there, my machine is still rendering what's over there. Okay. I can't see it, but it is still processing that to be ready if I change the zoom. So that's some extra work that maybe I don't want it to do. Maybe it can't handle doing that like my Mac. So untick some of these uh, zoom levels, hit apply, uh, back out of this. And okay. So now I'm locked. This is my new Mac zoom, but it's, it's still pretty good. And I'm just saving my, uh, saving my computer some space, right? It does not need to be drawing as much as it was. So, uh, there is your hot tip for today if you are also on a potato like my old MacBook. Okay, but oh, let's talk about the misfortunes of last time. We had a helicopter come. Put this guy back to sleep. We had a helicopter and, uh, oh, in anticipation of a big horde, I pulled up all the sheet ropes, forgetting that I guess I left all the nails downstairs. So we don't actually have nails to replace those ropes. And I can't even jump back down because if I jump down from this spot, I cannot get back up this spot because I took out the stairs, right? I have to become a level seven carpenter, I believe, to uh, build a new set of stairs to get back up here. Um, so, honestly, I, I'm i not sure <laughs> exactly where we're going to get to today, but I'm imagining that uh, we might have to do a little bit of medical discussion, some first aid talks. Because I might have to jump through a window. We might have to leave everything behind. We'll see. I'm dismantling this radio. I am... I'm 101% sure I won't get a nail from it, but... I don't know. It's some nervous idle activity, you know? Alright. So, I right-clicked, right? I went to disassemble. I selected the radio. It took some time. I got a battery. Okay, an amplifier. I'm not going to need that. Light bulb, electrical wire. not going to need those things. Um, oh, don't need a radio receiver either. Battery, you know, I do want to find a torch or a flashlight later. So the battery might be good to have. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run around the house, see what I can dismantle. But I think all of these require a hammer. But wait, you say, you have a hammer. Well, this is the club hammer. And honestly, it's a POS. It does not really do anything. Um, I knew that it is not useful for carpentry. I did not realize that carpentry includes literally everything. You can't barricade with it. You can't disassemble with it. Um, it's only a weapon. Which, like, thanks, guys. I really appreciate having this item in the game. Ugh. So there's nothing. There's nothing we can disassemble. Um, what can we do? Let's flick the light switch in Rage. Okay, Wilfredo, scream out the window rah, in utter disappointment. And let's take the hot tip from last time and just use it. Um, we're going to do something that this might be the end of it, really. This might be the end of Wilfredo. We're loading up on bags uh, because we're leaving this place. We're going to take everything. And we're going to take it with us. We're going to get out of here. Food weighs a fair bit. It is not a primary concern. So I'm going to take that food. I'm going to say dark green is going to become my food bag. Okay, that helps me keep organized in case I need to grab and go in a hurry. 
So blue or this gray blue here is the primary like need to have items. Yeah, we'll probably take a keep a little bit of food in there just in case. Uh, let's just eat this now. Don't need the cheese. Now we were keeping some stuff in the bathroom. Okay, vitamins. I'll keep that on the need to have first aid kit. Sure. Um, and this is more food. So dark green we said, and uh, yeah. It's all food in the category, so I'm just going to hit loot all, top left of this uh, inventory screen. Make sure I had the proper bag selected as the uh, active bag. Now that bag is full of food. Do a quick check just to make sure I'm not missing anything I might need. Okay, so far it's looking good. Now, you hear it, I hear it. There are some zombies out there. We're about to take a leap of faith. Oh, jeez, if I pick the wrong window, this is it. Right, I'm gonna get instantly bit. We have some protection on us. Uh, so that's, like, that's good. Uh, we're getting a little heavy, so let's keep those sheet ropes. Uh, we're not gonna be able to bring down our weight quite enough. Make sure we're loaded up with everything we need. Before you do anything risky, you know, make sure you've, you've optimized everything that's within your control. Oh my gosh, can of oats. This is a sign. This is my favorite food item in the game. Doesn't... Oh! Oh, Can of Oats has revealed to us an unsafe window. <laughs> I'm going to thank Can of Oats for that. Oh, Can of Oats. Okay. Man, I need to make this like a, a new channel that just sings the praises of Can of Oats. So those zombies are all over there. I'm just going to leap out. Uh, I can't get out this window, actually. Um, can I just pick this up? No, because I need a <laughs> proper hammer. All right. Quick little listening. Shh, I'm listening. I think they're all over there. Here we go! Fingers crossed! We landed in the house! Okay, press H, jump to health, minor damage, no enduring injuries. We are, for now, safe. Doing a little house check. I don't think anybody is in here. This is phenomenal. All right, so this is a bit of a bug, but I love it. So we actually jumped onto the roof, um, but because there is a roof tile here, um, it was not given a proper floor tile because no one was expecting to walk on the roof. Um, but that window opened onto the roof and because there was no floor tile there to catch me, I fell through into the living room. Like, hallelujah, this is amazing. Am I going to find no nails? I still have no nails in there. Well, we want that sledge. We want that saw. Uh, we can... I'll take the wrench, sure. We got to be careful now, though. And you know what? We got to be sneaky. Because we don't know where we're going. And we're carrying a lot of stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. If you're in this situation, you got to get out. And you're in Muldrow. This advice applies only to Muldrow. Um, but in any city, you need to be aware of the hotspots. And in Muldrow, the hotspot is the highway. The closer you get to the hide, uh, highway, the higher the zombie density becomes. So right now, I don't know where I need to go. But I know where I need to not go. And I'm just heading away from there. We'll see where that takes me. Alright, so we're a man on the road now. I would love to be a man on the road with some wheels, but that's not going to happen, it seems. Um, we just need to get lucky. We need to stay ahead of those other zombies, lose them when we can. Um, I'm not going to really bother to engage in any evasive maneuvers until I have a target, like a destination in mind. Because we are carrying a fairly heavy load right now. So we're actually either becoming exerted... Oh gosh... It is now a heavy load. Um, that will add up to damage over time. It will make us exerted, like the clock is ticking. Um, also, because we are moist and now we're unpleasantly hot, um, that is ticking a whole nother clock. So what that's doing... Where am I going? I actually for... Oh no, this this is the honest walkthrough. This is like, I actually forget where this road goes. Um, I have some ideas, but it might take us a while. So, oh. I think I know where we are. Interesting, interesting. Um, not super sustainable, but very quiet. Is there a lake? There is a lake down here, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know what? It's, it's quiet down here. We have some supplies. There's water. Um, if we need to, we can boil, uh, boil this water to make it potable. Um, we don't actually have, oh shoot, we don't actually have a pot to boil it in, nor do we have a fire, but we can deal with each of those. Um, now I don't think, yeah, there's no structures around this little lake, little pond. 
Um, so for now, just while we get our bearings here. Oh, and of course we're tired. Remember, tired, sorry, drowsy. I think that's a immediate 50% damage debuff. So not interested in fighting. Gray bag is our primary bag, so we're going to drop the other two. And uh, that fixes, yeah, fixes our weight problem. Um, just a little reminder here. Uh, I'm going to press uh, J, J for Jinfo. Um, I wanted to show you, yeah, we're stout. So carry capacity isn't going to be a huge problem for us here. Um, I'm going to press M to make sure I remember that this is a spot, <laughs> a spot that I want to keep an eye on. Um, I'm going to use the house icon. Uh, do I have a red pen? I do have a red pen. I'm going to make a red so it stands out. Um, boop. Little house icon, just so I don't forget. We got some supplies there. Um, home, I think, is safety, security, um, not zombies. That's what I think. It could be a safe house, uh, but in some way it's secure. This is secure by distance. Um, you wouldn't want to spend a whole night out there without some sort of fortification. But, you know, hopefully before the next night comes, we uh, have something else on the go. Actually, pressing M, I can also see, okay, there's, there's a little bit of stuff up here, so I'll head straight out, actually, to that house. Hopefully get something for it. Um, and uh, priorities. So you have actually, if you, if this was your playthrough, this happened to you, you're trying to figure out what you want to do. Um, you have some choices here. You can do what I'm doing, which is kind of head back into town, keep uh, poking at the edges of town, find a safe place, or you can just live in the woods. Like, that's a viable option. Take up uh, some foraging, boost that skill. You can build hammers, build... <gasps> you can build hammers! I need a hammer. Okay. We're not going to go full woodsman here, but uh, we are going to maybe build a hammer. Just because not having one is apparently really, really crappy. Alright. So again, don't take a fight you didn't start. I am quite confident. I can start and finish that fight, and so I did. Um, this house, I don't think we've properly looted yet. I'm going to try to get in here, see what there is to see. We've got a bag with a fair bit of capacity left. Left to fill. Having some trouble with these windows. House looks empty. Um, you know, there's that one time of those police, uh, or the prisoner zombies. I didn't do a proper scout of the house. I would say check at least one window. You know, hopefully... Check the house from at least three sides before you just waltz in there. That was the time there were five zombies. We got cornered. Like, literally put up against the wall. Hey, hey, hey! Last episode, I kept a battery because... Was that this episode? I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere along the line, I, I kept a battery thinking I might find a torch. And there it is. And look, the battery is almost out, so I can do this now. Uh, Right-click it. Um, I can remove the battery. Or I think I can... Can I just put this straight in? No. All right, got to remove the battery. One or all. It's a funny thing. Um, whenever it's gives you an option to remove something, it will also say remove all, even if there's only one. Uh, anywho, anywho, well, we're going to put a battery in. Um, why is it saying insert? Oh, let's try this. Now we have two batteries. We're going to put insert battery. Which one did, which one did it choose? It didn't let me, uh, pick. It chose the bad bat. Chose the bad battery. Let's remove it again. There's two batteries. Let's junk that. Let's... I think, can I write this? Yeah. So you can do it two ways with batteries. Uh, right click, insert into flashlight, or right click the battery and insert the battery into the flashlight. That will let you choose which battery you're doing, I suppose. Now that I have a flashlight, uh, there's no flashlight in the hotkeys, right? Uh, it's not equipped, um, but press F and boom, you take out your light source. Press F again to turn it off. And I uh, just wanted to show you that. I will also put it on my... No? I can't put it on my belt? Are you kidding me? That seems suspect. I thought I've had these on my belt in the past, but uh, all right, I'm a madman. Anyways, press F, pull it out. Let's eat these grapes. We're gonna be thirsty soon. Grapes have both hunger and a little bit of thirst. Uh, hunger and thirst, a satisfaction. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. We don't know how long we're gonna be kind of out and about here. So we'll take the food we find. I usually don't bother taking canned food until a little later in the game. Ho ho, we have a bowl. We can talk about bowls today. Jar lid, I'll take that in case I find some jars later. That's kind of a late game priority, uh, the jars. But you can uh, jar up some food for winter. 
Um, we don't need an alarm clock. We are a little bit sleepy. Okay, this, like, okay. I'm considering, because we're drowsy, I might take a little snooze uh, in this little house. Little snooze, little house. Uh, and the house does seem to be, uh, whoops, unthreatened on uh, just about all sides, I think. Well, can't check the back way, but I think we came from the back way, so that should be pretty fine. Um, let's just uh, let's just hole up here. Uh, close these curtains. You know what? I played a server once uh, years ago, like well before cars. Um, I think this house, or maybe the one beside it. Me and, and a few just awesome people. I don't remember their names at all. But we built this like seven story fortress on I think it was that house there actually. So maybe uh maybe just for uh, nostalgia's sake, personal nostalgia here, I will base up here for a little bit. Get those bags back up in this area. Um because we are on the ground floor, um we don't have the luxury of knocking out any stairs. But uh that's alright. Just means we gotta put more effort into clearing the local neighborhood of uh of the baddies. So, I think there was one more thing that we were going to take a little look at. Let's check our health. Okay, so we completely recovered from that fall we had earlier. And, uh, let's just give a snooze, quick snooze. When we wake up here, only take a second. And, uh, I have a choice. Might snooze, maybe not through the night. The area's not super secure. Um, here's what we can do. So, we have a bowl. Let's, uh, I think we can actually leave it there. But we're going to open some canned corn. Okay. Good, that's open. Now, the bowl, I think, maybe it has to be up here. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, now that the bowl is here, um, and it's in the same uh, main inventory, same as these canned uh, corn that I've opened, I can right-click the bowl and actually start creating a salad, right? So if you haven't done this yet, um, XP, every time I think that you take a cooking action, you gain a little cooking XP. And putting some corn in a bowl, that's cooking, baby. Um, we lower our standards in the end times. And you notice how it said create salad. So I'm actually going to pull out some other vegetables here, get some potatoes going. And uh, now I can create salad from potato or corn or from random vegetables. Can we make this more exciting? Hmm. I don't know if we can put corned beef. But uh, let's find out. Corned beef salad, anyone? Create salad. Yes, sure, let's do it all. Okay. So I clicked on something, I forget what I clicked. Right now it says canned potato salad, which means potato is the only substantial thing in there. Uh, I can also look though, hover over your salad and it'll show you a little icon. Uh, showing a little can icon is not super helpful though. Watch this, I'm gonna add the corn now. What do we got? Uh, yeah, I just see two cans. I have no idea what vegetables those are. Um, anyways, I will add some corned beef as well. All right, so corned beef, potatoes, and uh, corn. Not a bad mix. Not bad for the end of the world. Uh, it's raining, so we're going to keep hanging out in this base here. As uh, we go outside, we might catch a cold or something if we get too wet. Um, we were just sleeping, so we probably... Oh! I was going to say we can't uh, go back to sleep yet, but I guess Wilfredo here is a sleepy boy. So we'll sleep him through to the morning. And uh, you know what? Maybe just call it right there. Next episode, start basing up this place. As always, we gotta find, we need to find some wheels uh, to carry on, carry out of this place. Uh, cars are so important now, especially if we had faced that helicopter last episode. If we faced that with a car, easy. You just hit the road, okay? The helicopter will keep up with you, I believe, but the zombies certainly will not. Um... All right, so that's it. If you had a good time today, uh, remember like to support the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff coming. We've got a couple deep dives coming down the pipe. Thursdoid coming up as always every two weeks. The devs release a new blog and I release a new Thursdoid summary to go with it. So uh, until next time, survivors, stay comfy, stay safe, and good luck in the end times.